Hi, I'm James, and in this video, I'm going to be cloning a SSD, uh, well, a Mac OS X 10.11 uh, install. Um, Hi, I'm James, and in this video, I'm going to be cloning a OS X install from the original hard drive in the system onto a smaller SSD. So the important thing here is that we don't have a huge amount of data on this system. We're only using about 100 gigs of space. So we're cloning from the original two, uh, 500 gig drive to a 240 gig SSD. So first thing I'm gonna do, I've got the SSD plugged in on a USB caddy. So I'm going to switch that on. Now it will say, because this has never been used before, so we're going to say initialize. We will select that drive. We want to partition it. Options, GUID, and we want one partition, and we will call it Macintosh SSD. Name not really important. I'm just going to call it that to differentiate it from the original hard drive. And while that's happening, we are going to download a program called Super Duper. We are just going to use the free version of this. We don't want to use that as... So our drive is now partitioned, so we can close disk utility. And get rid of Firefox there, because our download should be complete. So we are now going to install SuperDuper from the DMG file. So by clicking it and saying OK. And let's just bring up applications. And drop SuperDuper into there. With that done, we can close that and load up the application. This is internet application, are you sure you want to open it? Yes, you may need to change your security settings if it's set on your computer not to allow that. Now we have the user guide here, we've used this before so we don't need that. We want to clone from Macintosh HD to Macintosh SSD. And we want to back up all files and then simply say copy now enter our admin password and now this is confirming you're about to erase Macintosh SSD that's fine we don't have anything on it always be very careful there the last thing you want to do is erase a drive which has stuff on now I'm just going to speed this up and as it's sort of copying everything across so we don't need to uh, go through all of that again we're just going to say don't use that as our time machine backup and then leave this to transfer all the files. So with the copy section done, and because this is USB 2 on this uh, MacBook, it was quite a long process taking over an hour, even though we didn't have a great deal of data to transfer. Um, if you have a later one with USB 3, it can be a lot quicker. And it's just doing the final stage now, which is making the drive bootable. So this should just take a short amount of time more and then we are ready to fit the hard drive into our Mac. 
Um, I'll put a little annotation up because I do have a video showing how to do that on this particular machine. We can see here now it has completed. We aren't going to bother registering. And we are going to hit OK. And now we will shut down the Mac. And that will allow us to install the SSD, boot from it, and we should all be sorted. I hope you found this video useful. Um, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. Thanks for watching.